The 1987 season was just so rewarding. In 86, came up short against Penn State in the Fiesta Bowl and probably the most devastating loss that I ever had in my entire coaching career. There was a lot of, you know, wanting to make it perfect the next time. The people picking the teams, you know, they didn't think that we would be up there for the national championship pitcher. All of a sudden, half of your starters are first year starters. You just wondered, replacing that many guys, you know, how we were going to be. It was pretty much us against the world. I'd throw up before every game. I didn't want to let them down. I knew how talented we were. Dan Stubbs, Benny Blades, Rod Carter. Michael Irvin and Brett Perryman and Brian Blades, Melvin Bratt and Warren Williams. I think University of Miami back during that period of time was really misunderstood. I didn't mind them being cocky. They got their degrees. We were in for the fight of our lives. The schedule that we had was brutal. The Florida State game was a defining moment. It's going to take all of us to beat that team in garnet and gold, they're, they're as good as it gets. It was when we knew that if you keep fighting, good things will happen for you. There really wasn't any doubt in my mind that we were going to win that ball game against Oklahoma and win the national championship. The score doesn't really properly reflect how badly we beat them. It was relief that we, we got it done. To do it with a perfect season is special, and that was the first one at the University of Miami. With the 87 team, it meant the world to me. I think the legacy was to carry on the tradition of excellence and the fight. It's the fight inside the player. And when you come together, you don't have to have the superstars to have success. You just need to fight as a team. You've created something special by the way you practice, by the way you compete, and by your team unity. And you can go, go accomplish something like 12 and 0. Stacking that on top of the 80, 83 season really kind of set Miami up as a, as a power to, to be reckoned with through the 80s and 90s. I think when you look at University of Miami during that period of time, it's one of the great football teams in the history of college football.